Hi, I'm Katie, a volunteer firefighter at Campbelltown Volunteer Fire Company, and I'm here to tell you about its history. In 1860, though there were 36 structures in Little Campbelltown, there wasn't a fire company. All that they had was a stream and the local people to form a bucket brigade for fire protection. In 1922, the town would finally decide to vote on a volunteer fire company. Eventually, in July of 1925, a group of local citizens met at the Campbelltown School. Then, on September 21st of the same year, the charter was accepted and the company was official. The first location of the fire company was not a firehouse, but they simply stored their things at Grubb and Miller's Garage, a local auto shop. One of their first accomplishments was to buy their first 750 feet of hose at $1.30 a foot. In 1926, the fire company bought their first truck. It was a hand fire apparatus, and it cost $4,080. It was their first pumper truck, and it carried a ladder, hand tools, fire extinguisher, 2.5 inch hose, and three sections of hard suction. By October 4th of 1930, the company dedicated to the community the first fire hall and community building in Campbelltown. By 1947, the company was beginning to advance in technology and purchase their second engine. The first squad truck, a former bread and milk delivery vehicle, was purchased in 1959 for $150 and the members built their first 1,500-gallon tanker in 1967 to carry water to fire scenes. In 1971, plans were made to purchase a 1,000 gallons per minute Mack pumper with a five-man cap. It cost $35,800 and was the last gasoline-powered Mack to be purchased. In February of 1976, a new rescue truck was purchased and replaced the retired 1954 squad truck. It cost $35,000 and was received on February of 1977. After the purchases of all the new equipment and vehicles, the members realized that they needed the proper training to be able to help people properly. They then took the necessary courses in that July of 1977. They formed a life squad to not only provide fire protection, but also first respond to medical care as well. The company went on to continue to advance in technology and replace old trucks for newer and safer models. They went through these different trucks, an R-Model Mack truck built in 1981 and a new 4,000-gallon tanker truck built in 1983 at the cost of $103,000. These old apparatuses were then replaced with the current models, Engine 2 and E1 built in 1995, Engine 2-1 and Imperial built in 1973, Rescue 2 and R-Model Mac built in 1981, Tanker 2 and R-Model Mac built in 1983, and Utility 2 a Ford built in 1984. The alarm rung as the firemen got there as fast as they could, and quickly had water in the fire. A house nearby was already on fire, and the hand had a steady flow of water on it. Though not much later, more sirens were set off as Palmyra and its hand equipment, and even more firefighters were on their way. Palmyra arrived and had their hose laid and water on the fire in no time. Soon even the Hershey crew and their equipment were there. By that time, there were three engines pumping water, all from the same system of water, and there was certainly an irregularity in the water pressure at the other end of the hoses. As they noticed this, the chief and the engineers had a very quick meeting on what to do with the depleting supply of water in the reservoir. They had used about one-third of their supply, more than 35,000 gallons of water. Luckily, they were able to douse the flames shortly after that. They were able to save the other home that was on fire, but unfortunately, the potato factory was lost. They were also able to keep safe the nearby bakery and adjacent homes. The HMS Campbelltown Bell The HMS Campbelltown Bell was built in Bath, Maine by Bath Iron Works. It started as USS Buchanan, but in 1940, before U.S. involvement in World War II, U.S. gave it to Britain in return for lease of naval air bases in the Caribbean and North Atlantic. Britain renames all ships like this after towns common to Great Britain and the U.S. HMS Campbelltown was named for a small town in the southern portion of Scotland and Campbelltown, PA. Thus, the HMS Campbelltown was born. It went into battle to destroy one of the remaining German battleships. It was tasked with destroying one of the three ports that served as an anchoring spot for the ship. It was loaded with 24 depth charges and contained 8,500 pounds of high explosives in a steel tank that was then positioned over the fuel tank. It sailed into the port amongst gunfire from the Germans. The delayed fuses were set and holes were blown into the stem to sink the old destroyer, and it blew, sufficiently taking out the port.
Campbelltown Volunteer Fire Company are very dedicated to protecting lives and property.